This is a classic simple cuckoo. It only does the one cuckoo. It doesn't have all the fancy stuff, the moving parts. And today I thought you might be interested in seeing uh, this poor old clock. It's about to get retired because it's literally falling apart. I mean, the wood's delaminating and the mechanism's broken and basically worn out. Uh, it's going to go to the old cuckoo clock farm. And I thought we would look at specifically how the cuckoo works. Uh, I'm not going to go into all the clock mechanisms. There's a lot of videos on that already, but I thought we'd look at the cuckoo. And uh, to start out with, the first thing is there's this little lock on the cuckoo so that when you don't want to hear it, yeah, this is the high-tech version of, of uh, turning it off during quiet hours. But we'll look and see how the little cuckoo pops out of there, how it opens its mouth and how the sound is made. First, let's look at the front side of the cuckoo. And of course, this is a little door where it comes out. And then he moves forward. He's got two motions. He comes forward and then he tips down and that opens his mouth wider. His little mouth moves. I don't know, can you see that? Yeah, so his little mouth moves as he tips up and down. And that's what happens on this front side. And in this version, he's just a little piece of plastic. But uh, yeah, he's got a couple components and one of them is this lower piece and then the upper piece. So again, forward and then up and down. Now let's flip the clock over, open it up and look at the magic on the back side. This is the back cover, and on this model, it just is held on by friction. We'll flip this over. This is the chime. It doesn't have a lot to do with the cuckoo. It's just the thing that goes, uh, makes the chiming sound on the hour. And this is the hammer for the chime. Now, we're going to have to zoom in here and get a lot more light in here before we can see what's going on. Just for orientation, here are some normal clock parts. That's the pendulum. You can see it's mounted right there and there's the escapement back in there important ordinary clock pieces that all pendulum type clocks will have um, and the interesting parts we begin to see here are the this is the whistle and this is another whistle there's two of them here's a bellows and here's a bellows and this is what makes the distinctive cuckoo sound so one is a different pitch than the other and again, we'll do a, get a little closer. We'll tip the clock so we can get a better view of what's going on. So how this works is each one of these bellows has a rod that lifts it and then drops it against gravity. And that's that side. And there's the other side. And when they're dropped in rapid succession, you get the cuckoo. Let's look at these whistles. We'll look at this one up close. They're basically mirror images of each other and just at a slightly different pitch. On this side, you'll see the opening and that's where you're hearing the sound from. There's one on both sides. And then this is the actual part that makes the coup or the coup. Uh, sound and then above again is the is the bellows and now let's uh, do a little bit more looking up in this area so down here we can see the end of the bird this is his tail if you will and there's a wire right there at the end of the screwdriver that's going to go up and it's going to tap the bird on the tail and that's what tips the bird's nose down when it's cuckooing. Let's see if I can get my finger in here without blocking everything. So you'll see that this goes up, pokes the tail of the bird like that, the bird dips down, and then it goes coo, and the bird under normal circumstances because of gravity will tip down, tip back, fall back like that, and then it repeats as many times as it's going to cuckoo. So that's the motion of the, the cuckoo. Here we can see the tail end of the bird back here. And this wire is connected to the bellows and tips the bird up and down. 
And then there's a black bar right there that the bird is actually sitting on. And that black bar moves the bird in and out of the door. So one is the horizontal movement of the bird and the other is the vertical tipping of the tail.